What's up, my f***s? It is me, Big f***ing Ryan, back with another video to drop. And today, we're going to be reacting to $1 Riz's $10 million job by Mr. Beast. You know where Mr. Beast? I feel like he could go for any type of job, so I'm guessing he made a video about that, where he tries all different types of jobs or all different types of pay. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the bell and let's get notified when I upload a new video. Comment what you guys want me to react to next. So, let's get into the reaction. to work this 10 million dollar job as a professional athlete and i'm going to show you the difference between this and getting paid two hundred thousand dollars to be an astronaut this is insane getting paid oh you don't, you don't get paid that much as an astronaut i thought you get paid more oh and so many other jobs starting with the lowest paying job i could find gold panning that can make as little as one dollar a year but we're gonna make millions statistically not Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism, and with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. But it's not very easy, because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys! I found gold! No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is two cents. Exactly my point. You can do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. But luckily for us, we're going to be working jobs that pay over 10 I thought they were going to make more. I thought they were going to make more. Let's see a job that pays $100,000 per year. Digging up dinosaur bones for a museum. What the? And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So oh, like, damn, what, what's happened? CGI, damn. Are they dinosaur bones? They are. So I've been here uh, 17 they years. The, they got that dusty the the CGI bone right there. That I've ever worked on in my career. This is your thigh bone right here, and it's over four feet tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to six corals stacked on top of each other. Keep in mind, I'm 6'5. These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Now, this may come as a surprise, but we are god awful at this. Whoops. Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even with us holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. And you let me and Carl touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much does this weigh? He was like, oh, I didn't think that this far. This is one-tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh, wow. Now, because yeah. this bone is so ancient, we have to cover it in a cast before know we pick I would it up. Not let him say it that. could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Hi, way, baby. Good job. This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just YouTubers carrying a dinosaur bone. Ugh. Front of the table. One, two, lift. Watch your hands up. And believe it or not, this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the two hundred thousand dollar job. Astronauts okay, love. Okay, you love to see it, though. You love to see it. You know. To drive the official people lunar learning. Moon. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're gonna get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? Open the doors. How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah. Go forward. Push forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm scared. You good? Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left. I don't care. Oh my god, there are cars. Is this street legal? Uh, street legal around here. Oh, this is amazing. Why are we driving sideways? I haven't figured out how to straight it yet. And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is gonna be. Oh, we're off-roading. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're gonna let me drive it down this hill? Is there seat belts in this thing? There's a seat belt we don't use right there. Though. Yeah, <laughs> they've got seat belts they don't use. That's that's helpful. Oh, oh, that's God. way too steep. Oh no way! Uh, Are we really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh my God! Oh, oh dear God! God. Oh, no, no. Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually left. Oh, I'll so. get up and let Nick. No, 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 sit there. No. Go sideways in the crater. Sure. Oh, oh dear God. God. Oh dear God! I'm just gonna say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. Uh, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA. Okay, it didn't go. So I was thinking you were about to go sideways. Like, Holy crap. but then again, maybe this I should expect more. This is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it just felt like they were flexing on me, especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. 
There you go. It's like an actual real adult diaper, okay. So be careful. This yeah. is a space artifact. It's flown on the space shuttle several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I, not in this suit, no. Okay. When's the next mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were gonna let me touch the moon. Now, now, lean back into it because it weighs 9,000 pounds. This weighs 9,000 pounds? Oh, oh, this is, this yeah, is the largest right. collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. I can't believe they're letting us do this. You realize we're just a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah, I'm, I'm just you YouTube reacting to this the video. Moon. What are the odds you oh, let dear. me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil, so I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. I tried. This material here is actual wow. lunar soil. No way, bro. You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt from the moon. It has not been opened since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> and after we found out aliens... I heard that, I heard that, right? I'm just saying, they probably have aliens. Our next job, where Carl and Nolan are going to fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. Ooh. We have no idea what we're doing. Welcome to the first day of flight training. I'm not joking. For the boys who somehow fly a real plane, all they have to do is land one time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Pulling it back makes it go slower, just like that. Oh, don't crash, oh don't crash, God. don't crash. Don't crash! Ah! Don't crash! You crashed the plane? He eventually did land successfully, which, for whatever reason, gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Yo, I'm freaking out. Hey, if you can't do this, Nolan, please, for love of God, let them know now. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna fly a plane. Oh my God. All right, here we go, you ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. Full throttle. Approaching 60. Kind of wobbly, but uh, now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off! Hey. Oh my god! Yeah. There you go, there you go. He is literally controlling the good start, good start, good start, good start. Ambulance has never caused a crash, right? Uh, well. Watch this, I'm gonna turn right. No. Dear god, dear god, dear god, dear god. I can't believe that I'm controlling this thing. Look, no hands! Stop! Oh, sweet Jesus, you bore off! I'm gonna This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh god! Ah! We're gonna land right there on top of that runway. Oh my god! Wait, oh. we're too close, right? Keep, oh. it, keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh my god. Come on, Nolan. Come on! You're good! You're good! There you go, love to see it! Love to see it. Nolan saving him and I was genuinely surprised that the job that pays one million dollars a year. Love to see it. But only if you're one of the highest paid hand models in the world. She makes five times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands. And her resume is stacked. She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard of. Her hands are even insured for one million dollars per hand. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that I'd find new insecurities. Okay, so immediately I can see the nails need work. Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. Look at how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture might be better here with these two. Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, but um, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands like glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good actually. But again, we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them. Yeah, not gonna lie. How it also suck? Cause my but my hands are terrible. Look like just look like my oh, damn nails, dude. Well, you can make a rug <laughs> That's out terrible hands. <laughs> this hair's been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to make a million dollars and now that my hands are no longer disgusting we're gonna model for an actual magazine and these photos are literally gonna be shown on billboards all across america to promote these watches that's petrifying yeah no no pressure uh, uh, okay i it. mean the watch looks good <laughs> I the watch looks was good be easy but we were actually horrible at this it looks like the watch is on a snake <laughs> bro this is so hard can i see the difference with you doing it 
Oh, what? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> Breathe, Carl, breathe. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. Yeah, of course. Oh, no! Nah. The other thing I need to throw in the mix is Immortals of Avium. This I'll actually be scared. scared right there. Okay, perfect. Now he's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at that. That looks crazy. I, I would dead ass be scared. I ain't looking at all everyone. I would dead ass be scared. I'm afraid of snakes and spiders. <laughs> This time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the Scorpion. No way, bro. You want to grab between there and there. Oh, now nah, he's doing a Scorpion yes. next. Perfect. Get it, get it, go, go, talk, talk, okay. and go, oh. and talk about the game. You can sling 25 different types of magic spells and unlock 80 different talents to customize your character to suit your playstyle. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are going to love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL for our final job. The people who created Immortals of Avium also helped make the award winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. <gasps> oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other boss the game gives you. Oh! Nice, no, I got you, I got you, just don't look. <laughs> Immortals of Avium is out now with a free trial on Xbox. Yeah, I would've been like, Carl, I would've been like, no, just do this quickly. Do this quickly. I'm too scared. Close my eyes. Dear God. We had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now it's finally time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right. I'm about to literally join the NFL. This athletes. Is my dream. And if you think a this lot is of athletes fake, you get paid ten million dollars. Contract to become a literal player for the Buccaneers worth ten million dollars. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, focus on the dollar amount. <laughs> and now it's official. Congratulations. Damn. So for the next forty-eight hours, I'm officially a player. You are officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end of my contract, I promise he he, he will let you down. Team <laughs> on the field in front of sixty thousand fans. The first step is weight training. At might be too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. Easy. I don't actually think they're paying me the 10 My million. Team struggle? Are you a winner or are you a Falcon? Easy. Are you yeah. a I've noticed they yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can you set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm going to see if I can do what. He can do 20. There you go. Holy crap. He's not a normal human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. One more, four, four. There you go. There you go. Push. 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 How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes away. It will. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. So naturally, I met my coach. Oh, Mr. Beast. How's it going? How are you doing? Good. So yes. And my new teammates. Nice to meet you, man. My name's Shaq. My kids love you. I love your videos. Oh, really? The candy bars, the Carl gummies. Are Yo, really? <laughs> And my new Carl team me, yeah. I actually signed with the team, nice. so I showed them my contract to prove it. Is this the same one you guys signed? I think you got more money than me, though. <laughs> yeah. that, but if you read, it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still going to cancel. Uh, yeah, look at the, the parentheses rest. for sure. Hey, you're official. Welcome to the I know, party. thank you. Hey, hey, my new teammates over here. Mom. These guys make us look like children. They're so big. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which... Oh, yeah. oh. I was terrible at. Mr. Beast, we need you out. We gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right. You're pretty right. mad. TV. And since I've never played quarterback before either, uh, I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh, 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 that was it. Oh, yo, that was actually pretty good. Know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him, Tom. Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? Yo, I have a friend here who might literally die of happiness if you no, say you, hi to him. You can't do this to me. You yeah, can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. After that, our practice just evolved into shenanigans. I, ah, little man. <laughs> about the power driver oh, him. Too small. Yeah. You could go back to filming. All right, guys. Let's see. <laughs> some people still had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press conference for me. We obviously have a big game. I'm expecting very serious questions only. Is this just a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on the new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. <laughs> how much playing time are you expecting? 
Uh, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. Six, six four. four and a half. Six four and a half. Carl, you're six five. I'm six five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These measurements are key so that my gear and my uniform are all custom fitted. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks, Bucks. Are you surprised? That football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. Weird. They say if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. Definitely his last. How is this happening? Okay, I mean this with all due respect and this isn't trying to be a this isn't trying to be like mean or anything, but why does Chris look like a Karen? Like I mean this with all due respect. Why does he look like a Karen? Shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought it was all over there until the Falcons made fun of me on Twitter. So in retaliation, I'm gonna nuke their stadium. <laughs> dude, dude, no, how do I gotta look at that tweet? I gotta look at that tweet, dude. The Roman sheet, damn. So yeah, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. Honestly, I really enjoyed that video. I don't know why. I was really expecting like certain jobs to be up here. Like I'll, like not gonna hold you for a one dollar. I was expecting something way worse than like gold mining. But seeing how the process goes, yeah, I can I can see why. Cause like you know, if you only get like a small amount of gold, of course it's gonna go for a cent, honestly. But then that last job, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of expecting that because like certain athletes get actually do get paid like 10 million dollars even more It just depends on like, you know, how good you are the sport and basically all of that Like I feel like out of every athlete I'm pretty sure NFL players get paid like the most if not and then it's probably like an NBA player or something like that But now that was really like a good video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction Please scrap the bell and if I win I'll put a new re a reaction comment where you guys want me to react to next so as that was the video, I'll see you wrestlers later. Bye. Peace.